Toys, it's Toy, um, and this is my week three video for Transcribers FTM. Um, the topic is sex. I wasn't able to post last week because I was in Florida meeting Chase. Um, for those of you that don't know, I had gone to Texas with my son to pick up a truck that Chase was giving us. He used to live in Texas, he just moved to Florida, and we were supposed to drive um, straight back to Massachusetts, but we decided to take a little detour, um, and it was way cool. Plus, I feel like now I have a little bit more to offer um, as far as insight goes into this topic. Um, forgive me if I sound like I've said something a million times. I've only had to do this video like four different times um, between it getting corrupted in the upload, my sister calling and not wanting to hang up because she didn't understand what I meant when I said I was doing a video, and the sound going all wacky. Um, so, anyway, um, I'm only going to answer some of the questions that I felt were pertinent to us or that I had something to offer. Um, and so, that's it. Here we go. Is there any part of my partner's body that is off limits? And that would be yes. And I think it's probably the same for most FTMs or most that I've um, seen speak about this. But any of um, his female parts are off limits. And that's fine with me. I have um, no problem with that. I understand his reasoning. Um, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, if they weren't off limits, I would be fine with that too. Um, I have, n I've said this before, I love him, the person inside, not the package. So, um, it makes no difference to me, except for that it's important to him. So, um, that's that. Is he responsible for my orgasms? To say he's responsible for them kind of makes it sound like um, when I'm talking to my son and I say, you know, you're responsible for taking the dog out and you need to do your job, makes it sound like something not so fun. He takes responsibility for him. I think that would be a good way to put it. And happily. Uh, and I'm okay with that. I am. Um, would I be okay if he didn't? I don't know. Probably. But I don't know because I've not had to deal with that. And I mean, when I was married, he was a completely different person. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, he takes responsibility for it, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, is it important that our sex not resemble lesbian sex? I'm going to say, for me, the answer is no. Because I don't know what lesbian sex looks like. It, that I don't think about that. Um, sex for me is an expression of how I feel. And since being with Chase, I've learned that the package doesn't matter so I have nothing I have nothing to compare it to because he is still the person that I love I, I can't I've never had lesbian sex so I don't know I don't know if it resembles it or not I have no idea I will say however that I do think it's important to him in that we've discussed before how it is important for him that I not perceive him in any other light other than the man that he is. And that's not an issue because I don't. Um, that wasn't even really something I worried about before we met in real life. I just knew that I would never see him like that. Even when I have to use the wrong pronoun, when I, it just... I don't see him as anything but the man that I love, so, um, but to him, I do think it's important. Do we um, maintain traditional roles during sex as far as male and female? Yes. Dominant and the dominant role and, and the submissive role? Um, yes. Other than that, 
I'm gonna say there's not a whole lot traditional about our our sex and I'm gonna leave that at that um, who initiates you know if I had a minute I would but he does not give me the chance he has got sex on the brain permanently I think and that kind of scares me for when he starts tea <laughs> because he's uh, he's pretty intense right now um, and I'm not complaining about that in any way shape or form remember I'm a 40 year old woman just coming into my prime so um, but yeah he initiates and I have um, this nagging suspicion that that's not going to change um, anytime soon not even when we move in together and yeah no he'll, he'll be the initiator um, do we plan on using prosthetics yeah huh um, we had actually ordered a strap-on online um, preparing for my visit in July which was supposed to be our first meeting um, and don't you know that son of a bitch showed up at his hotel the day I left Ugh. I think I was still in Florida when he texted me and said you'll never guess what just arrived I was like you have got to be kidding me I so would have been home a day later and we so would have found something to do with my kid um, to keep him entertained outside of the hotel room but anyway yes um, we do plan on it among other things I have I am not against being adventurous so there you have it I like shopping for toys um, and the last one is what is good about our sex life right now I'm gonna say the intimacy um, I've never felt this emotionally connected to somebody and he, he said the same thing he said this is one of the most this is the most intimate relationship he's ever had um, and I think that adds something amazing to not just the sex but to everything that you do together um, so I'm gonna say that's the best part of our sex life what could be better quite simple we could not be at opposite ends of the country that would make it a lot better um, he is flying up here now though July 9th he's gonna spend four days here with me in Massachusetts and he'll go home on Monday and oh, I'm sorry. I will then fly down to Florida on Thursday so we'll have a little bit of, of um, some time together. I already told my son he needs to find a friend's house to sleep over the weekend that Chase is here. He can be home during the day, but at night he's got to go somewhere. I'll help him with that. Um, so who knows, after those two weekends, I'm going to venture to guess that I will have a whole lot more to add on this topic. Um, until then, uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed to Transcribers FTM, subscribe. Um, if you want to check out Chase's channel, his channel is LYDCD, D like David. And that's it. I'll catch you guys. Actually, I'll catch you guys in about five minutes because now I've got to do week four's topic, which is testosterone. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.